Hi, this is My Keys to Music, and I'm Mark. Thanks for joining me on this tutorial slash training series where we learn about the Nord Sound Manager and its ability to move programs, sounds, samples between your Nord keyboard and your computer. Part one will be how to install the Nord Sound Manager. Part two and beyond will be how to use the Sound Manager. We're going to go very deep on this. We're going to learn it from A to Z and Z to A. Join me now. It's a full-blown application that is pretty robust in nature. It does a lot more than just move sounds. Uh, it actually allows you to organize your sounds and stay organized. It'll also allow you to back up your keyboard settings and your keyboard sounds. Finally, it allows you to package or bundle sounds into a particular construct that allows them to be replicated by another keyboard of Nord. So you could bundle, let's say, a particular program. Then you can export that program along with its associated sounds in samples, packaged up in, in a thing called a bundle, transported anywhere in the world for someone else to unpackage and unbundle and put on their Nord keyboard in the same way that you had it configured. So it's a great way of sharing information, sharing sounds, sharing capabilities and possibilities. All right, let's get started. First things first, you actually do need a computer. You can't use an iPad or a tablet or anything like that. It does need to be a computer that's running either Macintosh or Windows. The first thing you want to do is grab a computer. I'm happy, I happen to be using a Macintosh here. I'm using Safari, which is my go-to browser. And I'm just going to put in nordkeyboards.com. That'll bring you to the main web page. So once you're on the main web page, all you need to do is locate software. Software is where you're going to locate the applications that allow you to do stuff with your Nord. Here, as of 2018, I see six different options. The one we're interested in is the Nord Sound Manager. Go ahead and click on that. Then you'll see a dedicated page just for the Nord Sound Manager, which kind of shows how much emphasis Nord has given this application over the years. In fact, we are already on version V7.22, so this is a very mature product. It matures along with the Nord sounds, along with the Nord offerings. If you're a Nord owner, this is a vital ingredient and a vital piece of software that you need to know how to use and get around so that you can get the most out of your Nord. Keep in mind that all the samples that are available on the Nord site are completely free as of now and probably will be forever. And that allows you to refresh your keyboard and freshen up your performance and or capabilities over time just by upgrading the sounds or changing them around. All right. I just want to bring to your attention an announcement here, new for Nord Stage 3 owners and Electro 6 owners, the NSMP files, the older version files are now automatically upgraded or converted to version 3. What does that mean for you? It means if you have samples that you created on your own in that old format, you'll be able to use them in your Nord Stage 3. It means that any older library samples that may have been either in the library or available to you from other users around the world, you can now use those versions of those libraries and samples, import them into your Nord Stage 3, and you'll have full compatibility. Uh, Electro 6 isn't out yet. Today is February 18th, 2018. The Electro 6 was announced recently at this last January's NAM show in Anaheim, but it has not actually arrived yet in stores. It should be arriving spring or summer, according to the experts at Nord who made a brief announcement of that at NAM. Let's go ahead and download this. Nord Sound Manager 7.22. You'll get two choices, Mac or Windows. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and download the Mac version. That will put it in any folder that I want. It'll either go in your Downloads folder or someplace. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my desktop so you can see what's going on here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my RAM disk. Here's the Nord Sound Manager. Throw that on there. That just takes a second to download. It's not a particularly large program. Another important thing to note here is that here you can see the update history of the Nord Sound Manager itself in what they have done. And you can see here this latest version does indeed upgrade those NSMP files to the latest version, which is really great. They also added Electro 6 to be supported, although it's not out yet. It is ready and waiting when it does arrive, and then minor bug fixes. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, all you need to do, close the browser, Open up the program that came as a download. It's called the Nord Sound Manager V7.22. You want to verify that the version is the same in case you have a couple of these downloads running around in your downloads folder. You don't want to get the wrong one. 
Okay, so from here, I have the Nord Sound Manager application. On a Mac, all I have to do is drag this into my Applications folder, and voila, it's technically installed now. All right, now let's go check out my Applications folder. And you can see here, and I left it here on purpose so you can see that, uh, not to be confused, I actually have an older version of the Nord Sound Manager, V7.21. This is going to happen because as with each new version you download, you're going to have the old one if you don't remove it. So on a Mac, the easiest way to remove an application is just to drag it to the trash. And if you're really steadfast on keeping your computer as clean as possible, like me, you will load something called App Cleaner and then simply drag your Nord Sound Manager of the old version into the App Cleaner and it will find all its related brothers and sisters and children and dependencies and delete that appropriately. So now I have now successfully deleted in its entirety the Nord Sound Manager older version. Okay, now let's go ahead and open this up and you're into the Sound Manager. Okay, Windows users, let's go ahead and install the Nord Sound Manager on Windows. I'm going to do the same thing. Go to nordkeyboards.com, locate the software link, click on the Nord Sound Manager, locate the latest version here on the right, then go and click Nord Sound Manager, whatever that version is for Windows. You should be able to download that. In my case, I'm going to go Save As and save it to my desktop and that should download rather quickly. It's a pretty small program. I'll go ahead and close the browser. Now I have a zip file on my desktop. The best thing I like to do is right click and then extract all. That will extract the folder and that is the best way to install a program is first extract it, in my opinion, extract it first. Then I should see a very simple icon, Nord Sound Manager setup.exe. Let's double click that, install that, click run. There's a quick wizard screen here, click next. I like to install the optional desktop shortcut. I think it's easier to find it that way. Click next. It will install in a default folder. It doesn't take long. I'll click finish. It's now done. The Nord Sound Manager is now officially installed on my Windows machine. Note that it will be grayed out until such time that you actually connect the Nord keyboard via the USB. The Nord has to be on. This will be gray until you actually get it working and connected with your keyboard and it has to all be connected for this to be active. Oh, and attention Windows users, you will need the Clavia USB driver in order to have compatibility between your Nord keyboard and the sound manager. But it shouldn't be a big deal if you have a fairly late model computer. You should be able to just turn the computer on, plug it into the Nord keyboard, turn the Nord keyboard on, and the driver should automatically install as a result of the built-in Windows update. That's how it's explained here on the instruction manual for the USB driver 3.0. And in addition, if you do need to install them manually, the instructions cover that, and here's your driver set right here as a zip file. So hopefully that'll go smooth and easy for you. Stay tuned for part two when we talk about how to use it.